Hi, my name is Kathy Geiger. I import sterling silver jewelry from Tosco, Mexico. We're going to talk today about chokers and why you should put a couple of chokers in your wardrobe. Chokers come and go. You saw them a lot in the 70s, again in the 90s, and they're back and hotter than ever right now. So please take a look. And why do you want a choker over a chain? Here's why. A choker maintains its shape. A chain goes into a V. So pick a choker to hold your pendant up higher to your throat. That's the name of the gang. If you want a, if you have an open collar, if you have a boat neck, anything that you want to make sure where your pendant stays right here, okay? So first question is, do you want an oval or do you want a round choker? And that has everything to do with the the circumference of your neck right here. It doesn't have as much to do with long, thin necks. It has everything to do with this arc here. So my cousin who has a very long neck and you would think for sure she would take a 16 inch something up here, but she also works out. So the muscles back here are more developed than mine because you know, I don't exercise. <laughs> so on her, she wears the oval shape and it looks fantastic on her. And, and it does make a gorgeous line here, which is where she, she looks best. Tracy, who's going to join me here, wears a round choker. And I like watching that on her. She's coming around now, much against her own <laughs> hope. This is how much I love her. It is, right? Okay. Tracy is wearing a round choker and you see how it fits here and how it, it lays and really follows her, her natural outline here. This puts her, because she has a more shallow decolletage, <laughs> that, that is what she really does need to wear because it does bring the pendant and your, your view, your focal point up here. Tracy is the absolute perfect person to wear a choker and she does wear all the decoratives and she does look fantastic in them. I prefer the oval because it hangs a little bit lower. I think it brings a, a little bit more length here and then I wear my hair long. So I think that also plays into that option. Okay, enough about that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we also have, we carry chokers in 16 inch and 18 inch lengths. Again, that's a question if you have a wider neck here get an 18 inch and it's going to bring your pendant down to about there. A 16 of course is going to be higher up here. Um, third question is how big do you need the choker to be? What size pendants do you wear? If you wear a tiny pendant like this that might have a tiny bail like that, pick up a smaller choker. Something that you know for sure that the edge is going to go through the bail. The second question is, do you feel that this overpowers that? I don't believe so. I think this is a lovely piece. It's a gorgeous pendant by Annabelle. As you're at my website at CorazonSterling.com, type in ginkgo. See this set. It is gorgeous, and there's earrings to go with it. I love ginkgo trees. Um, if you get into a bigger pendant, you might want to look into the flexible chokers. These are the round chokers. They're more of a tube. It's finished on the edge. There is no part of this is ever going to scratch you. And you just flex it a little bit, put it on. It, it comes on just perfectly. Has a little bit more flex than the flat steel or the flat silver. This is all day, every day. And it has very little gap here. So you, you're not going to be worried about it coming off. Um, and then... In the flex chokers, we have that in the oval, in the 16 and the 18 inch. See the difference there. Okay, so it's going back to the pendant. What size pendant do I want to wear? Where do I want it to fall? This is my pendant, and because it has that really pretty tubular veining right there, I'm going to pick a round flexible choker to hang on there. And because my, my neckline is lower, I'm going to pick one that hangs down, an oval hangs down, the pendant is right here. If I wanted it higher, if I didn't wear that deep, you know, if I was, if I wanted to cover it more, I would certainly put this on a round and hold it up a lot higher. 
Okay, so when I do shows, we get out the big, beautiful chokers. These are the ones that you should go for if you wear the big pendants, the Native American style, the big squash blossom style, or if you just really want to wow the people. The only drawback to this, and you need to be looking at that, is the way that this roll is brought back. It needs to go through a larger bale. So look at this, how stunning is that piece? It's got a nice big bale, slides right through, no problem at all. Put it on, snap it shut, no weight. You will have no problem with any weight stone. We see a lot of women that have the, um, the big gorgeous turquoise chunks, the big crosses. Um, this is a visually pleasing to me. I think the balance is absolutely perfect. All right. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Send us a text. Um, if you like this video, let us know because we do have some decorative chokers that are absolutely stunning. We carry um, this double of silver and hammered copper. We have just a plain hammered single choker, which is also very pretty. And then the one that we all love and can't get enough of is seven strands of silver that are braided and clasped together in the back. Absolutely stunning. CorazonSterling.com. My name is Kathy. Thanks for joining.